what's going on everybody force white here bringing you guys a brand new video and today we're going to be working on the race car we got to get it ready to go the races are this weekend and today is monday and there's a whole bunch of stuff we got to do we got to take out some lights take off the exhaust take out some glass and you know make a few other adjustments and then it should be ready to race obviously we got to put our numbers on the decals and everything to make it actually look like a race car so if you're not looking like a race car you can't perform like a race car so without further ado let's jump into it the first thing we're going to do is take off the exhaust the exhaust has got to go completely and that's going to make it nice and loud so let's do it all right everyone so as i said we're gonna have to jack it up well it's already jacked up but we're gonna have to take off the exhaust that's gonna be the first thing so there's a bolt right here and a bolt right here we're gonna have to take that off and then the rest of the exhaust should come right off i know there's a few other things we have to do it's welded up a few spots uh going toward the back so we have to take take that weld off either cut it off or take the bolts out and break it off one one way or the other we got to get this exhaust out of here so let's go ahead and take these couple bolts off right here all right so i told you guys before that we needed to take those two bolts off they are super rusted so we're not going to be able to take them off without cutting them off but if you come down here and look the car was actually really loud before but this part here, if you guys can see, is actually rusted in two. So, I'm thinking just leave this little piece on there and cut these off. These are like little holders. Cut that one off on that side and on down there. And then this should just, the rest of it will just go out so we don't even need it. Because it is loose, it is just barely hanging there. It's serving no purpose, so that should be the easiest way to get it out so that's what we're going to do all right everyone so we actually have the exhaust completely undone now as you can see it's pretty uh wobbly up through there cool thing was it had these like little rubber mounts instead of having to like try to cut welds and stuff all i had to do is literally take a scissors and cut these mounts off so It'll be really easy. What we're going to do now, I'm going to take a hacksaw and cut the exhaust in two up there uh, above the axle. That way this part will just pull out and that part up there laying on the ground will just pull out. You probably could figure out a way in order to like weave it out of here in one piece, but it's extremely hard to do. So I'm just going to cut it in two and that'll be the end of it. And then we will start on our lights all right so as you guys just seen we did get the uh exhaust off i was going to take a hacksaw to it but i tried it with the hacksaw it wasn't cutting very good my parents have the sawzall that i have like my sawzall is at my parents house so not going to be able to to cut the exhaust off but it's it's pretty much already off it just needs cut in half but we're going to go ahead and move on to the lights because they have to all be taken out as well so obviously this light has come out that light has come out that light and that light and those two lights have to come out as well so all i have to do is pop the hood there's a couple bolts on top that hold the lights on those will come out and then boom the light should come right out so let's do it all right so i actually had to resort to a youtube video because it's not as easy as what i thought it was so i thought that you just maybe had to take this bolt out right here and maybe take this one out and then it would just pop out on the cavalier there was literally like one bolt on top and one bolt right here and you just took it out and it came out this one not the case so this whole front bumper has to come off um, and then down on the inside here there's two bolts that have to come out then each headlight will come out so we're gonna have to take the whole entire bumper off so let's do it all right everyone so we finally got the bumper off it took us like 30 minutes i did not know it would be this difficult to take the headlights out but we have to we had to literally remove the entire bumper just to take these out we haven't even got them out yet we still got to unbolt them but we had to take this panel off 
in order to take see this panel was actually bolted to the bumper on both sides so you had to remove this panel remove that panel and then finally unbolt the bumper whoever worked it forward in 2000 i want to speak to him immediately <laughs> okay but now the bumper that looks pretty cool i think we're going to leave the bumper off Hanny said it looked cool i think it looks cool it looks more like a race car but now we got to remove the headlights so let's do it everyone so as you can see we finally got the headlights out all the lights that were in the um, the bumper are now out now it's time to take out the glass we'll have to take out the glass on the passenger side that little glass driver's side that little glass and the back glass on the last car we actually took the windshield out too but we noticed that some cars that were racing over at Beckley they actually had their windshields in and there was a lot of like dirt and stuff that was hit me and uh so we're gonna leave the windshield in this time plus that'll allow me to have my rear view mirror in so when i'm riding in first i'll be able to see everybody racing behind me that'll be and also i can attach my gopro to it so you guys will be able to watch me race so but that's going to be what we're doing next we're taking all the glass out and that should be about it, right? We gotta take the tail lights out as well. But other than that, it should be rated race, right? I think so. So let's let's get this glass taken out. All right, guys, so it's definitely been a process, but technically all of the glass is out of the car. The side windows, we were able to just take them out no problem, but the back glass on the Cavalier that I had before that we ran, it was so hard to get the back glass out and it eventually just busted. And it did the same exact thing on this one. Um, the seal, like the seal stuff that goes around the glass is so strong and it's so hard to like cut through that if you just like pry on a little bit, the glass just busts. So I'll take you guys around. I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like without windows. I do have a tarp along the back cause I still gotta clean the glass out. But technically we have everything off the car. It's ready to go. In the next uh, episode, you guys are gonna see, we're gonna be putting the decals on it, putting a few different things on the bumper and uh, it'll be ready to race. So I'm gonna show you guys this glass. And that's going to do it for this episode, and then you will be able to see us put all the decals on it, load it up on the trailer, and get it ready to race. Mm -hmm.